What's up, this is Jake with Hike 734, hiking with my wife, Kristen, and today we hike to Mount Hunt Divide through Open Canyon. And that trail we were restarted at was at the Death Canyon Trailhead and uh, worked our way up through Open Canyon all the way up to the divide. And once again, like my Static Peak Divide blog, the uh, road is kind of nasty for the last mile to the trailhead. Um, but once you get going, you just head on up through some trees and uh, we worked our way past the meadow um, to Phelps Lake Overlook, which you can see more about all of that on the Static Peak Divide blog. But anyways, we started uh, working our way down with some more views of Phelps Lake, which is beautiful. And uh, through the big kind of avalanche chute section, which is really cool. And uh, instead of heading up into Death Canyon, we headed down towards Phelps Lake and worked our way through all of the different uh, trees and shrubbery and across the creek that comes out of Death Canyon and then started climbing and uh, worked our way. That's the valley trail and then eventually it intersects with the open canyon trail and from there um, it just continues up through the trees. Uh, it's uh, definitely not used as much and you can see you have some filtered views of Phelps Lake there um, which is nice. It's just a nice forest. And I would say it's a moderate grade. It's definitely not a gentle slope, but it's not really steep either. And uh, yeah, just a bunch of cool woods there. And um, you come to another trail junction and that's really where you're starting to enter into the canyon itself. And you walk this really cool ridge and uh, you're working your way where the draw below you to your left starts getting up into, uh, up to the head of it where that's eventually where you cross. And, uh, and then you just head straight up the canyon from there. Um, but it's a, definitely a more of a wild place than some of the other canyons and uh, a lot more wooded, I think. And uh, similar, I suppose, to Granite, Granite Canyon. But anyway, so yeah, you're just working your way up through some pleasant trees and not a whole lot of views per se. Um, there's a couple of scant views down into Jackson Hole and definitely as you get higher up you can see those and then as you're going up you can kind of see um, up towards Mount Hunt and uh, and then it starts to go ahead and open up um, as you're on the south side the south facing slopes of Prospectors Mountain and so you start to get some better views of that as you start to get higher up into the canyon and you go through a couple meadows and we got to look down and see this really beautiful um, bull elk bedded down just you know digesting some food from the morning but anyways continued on up there and it just kind of alternates between some of these big open meadows as you traverse and uh, and then some of these really cool tree areas and uh, and then it comes over to the creek that flows through open canyon and you cross over that and um, go through another avalanche sort of area and then you hop in the trees and now you're traveling on the north facing slopes of of Mount Hunt and in this section here it definitely spends most of its time in the trees um, as you work your way up it it'll go through and it'll do some switchbacks and then it'll traverse for a ways and um, all through that area you definitely get to see um, you start to get to see cool views of Prospector's Mountain, but they're really just a little bit here, a little bit there, and um, but you're looking down into the creek bottom, and so it's a lot of teasing views, and uh, eventually you uh, get, it just starts to open up more and more, but like I said, it's a lot of the uh, traverses for a while, and then there'll be a handful of really tight switchbacks, and so Anyways, finally you start to break up higher and the views start really opening up and it's stinking beautiful. Um, right now we got a lot of fall colors. I think down in this big wide creek bottom there, I think you're going to get a lot more flowers earlier in the year. Um, but anyways, really cool um, mountains looking all the way up, a couple of little waterfalls as you're heading up. And then uh, after most of the hike is what it feels like and a lot of vertical, um, you start to get up into the higher um, alpine area and that starts opening up and then pretty soon you uh, just right below the actual divide itself there's just a bunch of really cool limestone boulder um, fields there and there's lots of marmots and pikas and that kind of stuff and a really cool variety of cliffs that you get out of Mount Hunt is definitely not your granite um, affair it's a lot of limestone couple of really cool caves there and uh, anyways really cool and then you finally get up to the top 
and you have really cool views looking over to Teton Village ski resort there. You can see the top of the tram on Rendezvous Mountain and yeah, just lots of really sweet views. And if you want to, you can take that trail down into uh, Granite Canyon and you can make a huge, huge loop out of it. Um, otherwise, you can just go ahead and do an out and back for a shorter day like we're doing. And um, but yeah, really cool views once again in the open canyon that we came from. And then, anyway, so we're heading back down right now. Turn around and uh, yeah, it's just a lot of downhill. We chose to do it from the Death Canyon Trailhead because it is a lot shorter. It's the shortest route there, but it's a really cool canyon, really wild. Only saw a handful of people and uh, that bull elk, some birds, flowers, that sort of thing. So anyways, this is Jake with Hike 734, hiking with my wife Kristen to Mount Hunt Divide through Open Canyon in Grand Teton National Park. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and head on over to hike734.com for more goodness.